How's it going 3D printers? Andrew Sink here, and in this video we're going to be talking about the Cyclopes by Ibos. The Cyclopes is a fully programmable filament drying system, which allows you to set a time and temperature for your 3D printing filament to remove moisture before printing. If you're printing with nylon or PETG or any other hygroscopic material, a filament drying system like the Cyclopes is a must-have. The Cyclopes is about to be launched as a Kickstarter product, and Ibos sent me this unit so I could review it and share my thoughts. The other product that Ibos is launching at the same time is the Eurus, a USB-powered filament vacuum pump. The two products complement each other very well, and you can see my video on the Eurus in the description below. In this video, we're going to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions, and we'll be doing a more detailed review later. The box tells us what's included with the Cyclopes, as well as the power requirements of the unit. So let's go ahead and open the box and see what's inside. Right off the bat, the first thing we see is one of my absolute favorite things in the world, and that is when a box says hello. It's a really small thing, but it shows that designers put some thought into the packaging, and that usually means they've put some thought into the product as well. Ibo sent me a little card for being one of the early beta testers, which I really appreciated. We've got a user manual, a Bowden tube, a QC certificate, and they also included three different international power adapters, perfect if you want to take your Cyclopes on vacation. They also included four rollers, and putting these into the base is really the only setup or installation required. All we have to do is snap them into place, and they just click right into the plastic standoffs, and then we can test using a spool of filament to make sure everything rolls as it should. We can now place the plastic cover on top of the base unit, and the Cyclops is fully assembled and ready to go. The instruction manual includes some good information, and I'm including some screenshots of it here, so feel free to pause the video if you want to read a little bit more about how it works. Turning it on is very simple, you just hit the power button, and then you can set the temperature and time depending on the material that you plan on using. For my initial test, I'm using an old spool of Solutech that I've had for a long time. This spool isn't really reliable, I don't use it very much anymore, but I put it through a 4 hour drying cycle before running a print, and that brought the humidity in the container from about 44% down to 30. One of the first things I noticed was that the purge strip from the Prusa, which is usually uh, pretty perforated and there's a lot of popping, looked amazing. It was one solid piece, and this was a great indication that the part was going to print well. And it did. The support broke right off the part, and the filament looked like it was brand new. I was really impressed considering this was filament that I haven't used for over a year because prints would usually fail whenever I used it. So again, this part looks really good, all the vertical walls look really sharp and clean, there isn't a big seam from the start and stop points, and in general, it's just a really good indication that this filament dryer is going to work. So if you go through a lot of filament, the Cyclopes probably makes a lot of sense to have. It's a great way to restore old filament and also to guarantee that the filament you have right now is printing as it should. You can learn more about the Cyclopes and also the Eurus, the filament vacuum bag that's also made by Ibos, on their website, which I've included in the description of this video, and it's a great place to learn a little bit more about their products and also learn about the Kickstarter that's coming out soon. As always, thanks for watching and have fun printing.